Hey guys, Trainer DC here, coming at you with another video. I think something that pretty much everyone is expecting going into Pokemon Legend Z to A is that both Xerneas and Evolutone will get some sort of new forms. I think the two most popular theories that I'm seeing online are either that Xerneas and Evolutone are both going to get Mega Evolutions or they're going to get some sort of fusion with Zygarde. I think that these are both plausible and in all honesty, I'm I'm not the biggest fan of the whole let's have Zygarde fuse with Xerneas and Evil Toll just because we've done that three times already. We did that with Kiram and Reshiram and Zekrom. We did that with Sogaleo, Lunala, and Necrozma. And we did it again with Calyrex, Glastrier, and Spectrier in Sword and Shield. So I don't really want to see them revisit that mechanic. But one thing that I don't see people talking about online that I actually think might be one of the most likely things for Xerneas and Evil toll outside of getting mega evolutions is if they got primal forms and hear me out on this one so there's two reasons why i think primal xerneas and primal evil toll make a lot of sense for pokemon legend z to a and the first reason is because from a lore perspective it would make a lot of sense so first and foremost what do we know about primal forms well there's only two primal forms in all of pokemon right now being primal kyogre and primal groudon and both of which are supposed to be groudon and Kyogre's form from many years ago when they were more powerful, and the reason why these forms would make sense lore-wise for Xerneas and Evolutal is because in Pokemon X and Pokemon Y, Xerneas and Evolutal respectively are both asleep for a thousand years. Xerneas is in the form of a tree sleeping, and Evolutal is in the form of an egg. They awaken when Lysander decides to use them for the ultimate weapon, and they obviously awaken into the Xerneas Evolutal that we all know and love. While that's the case, and they do awaken, how do we know that that's their true form? How do we know that after a thousand years, Xerneas and Evil Toll awaken to their full power? In my mind, if a Pokemon is asleep for a thousand plus years, it's more likely than not that they're not going to wake up and be at a hundred percent power. So that's why, lore wise, I think it could make sense for Xerneas and Evil Toll to get primal forms because, quite frankly, they were asleep for a thousand years. They're probably not at full power when we see them in Pokemon X and Y. Hence the reason why the ultimate weapon isn't as powerful as it's described 3,000 years ago during the Great Kalos War. The other reason I think that Xerneas and Evolutal getting primal forms would make sense is because in Generation 6, that's when we had primal forms introduced to us to the first time, and obviously Kyogre and Groudon and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, as I mentioned before. So what way to tie things all together to reintroduce primal forms for Xerneas and Evolutal, the two legends? legendary Pokemon that got Generation 6 started in the first place. For those two reasons, I think Xerneas and Evolutal are going to get Primal Forms in Pokemon Legends Z to A. Here's the thing with Primal Forms too, and when I say I think they're going to get Primal Forms, I mean that I think they're going to get forms that are basically awakening their power from a thousand plus years ago before they went to sleep, before they had their long slumber. And the thing with Primal Forms is essentially all they are, are forms forms of a Pokemon that are from many, many moons ago. And essentially, if you think about it, they're kind of the same as Origin, Dialga, Palkia, and Garatina. Origin, Dialga, Palkia, and Garatina are supposed to be those three Pokemon respectively at their full power as they were many, many years ago. And the same thing can be said for Primal, Kyogre, and Groudon. They're essentially the same thing, just being activated in different ways. So while I'm calling it Primal, Xerneas, and Evolutal, who knows? They could come up with a new term for for it. Just kind of how like Ultra Necrozma is essentially a glorified Mega Evolution, but it's called an Ultra Burst form as opposed to a Mega Evolution. It might be something similar to that, where in essence, they are Primal Forms. In essence, they are Origin Forms, yet they're taking a new name in Pokemon Legend Z to A. But nevertheless, I think that Xerneas and Evolutal are both going to get Primal Reversion in Pokemon Legend Z to A, and we're going to see the introduction of Primal Xerneas and Primal Evolutal. All. Anyways, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about all this. Do you guys agree with me and think that it's likely to see Primal Xerneas and Evil Toll in Pokemon Legend Z to A? Or do you disagree and think we're going to get a fusion with Zygord or Mega Evolutions instead? Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more content like this from Trainer DC. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.